So, Project Zero. In America, it's called Fatal Frame. Okay. In Japan, it's just called Zero. Right. You play as a girl who has a camera. Okay. And the camera takes pictures of ghosts. That sounds suspiciously like a game that came out recently. It's probably a sequel to Project Zero. Because there are, there's one that just came out in Japan when I was over there. So this is the first one of the lot, and then it was followed by Project 2, Crimson Butterfly, uh, Project Zero 2 even, or Fatal Frame 2, and then Fatal Frame, Project Zero, Zero 3, The Tormented, then 4, and then Spirit Camera, and then all sorts of stuff like that, and then it got re-released on the Wii as Project Zero whatever, and there have been so many releases of this damn thing, it's unbelievable. That sounds like it follows a very odd naming convention structure. Project Zero Two. Yes. In America, it makes more sense with it called Fatal Frame, but whatever. And in Japan, the it's just called Zero because what you're aiming for is the zero shot, which you'll soon see. If I just accidentally click the X button right here, bing. <laughs> oh, what's in options? We love options. That chicky in the background, she is who you play. Oh, okay. This was released for the Xbox about half a year after it came out on PS2. Okay. In a slightly updated version, but I, I prefer the PlayStation original because I am a PlayStation fanboy. <laughs> you have to see things other people can't see. No subtitles. That's, uh, yeah. Tecmo of Dead or Alive and Ninja Game fame. Yeah. My big There's a name I haven't heard in a while. He was so sweet and kind. Right. Spooky Japanese stuff. He was the only one I could Japan really does look like that. <laughs> but obviously in high resolution. <laughs> <laughs> and slightly more three D. Or is it five D now? Who knows? That's her brother. Not that that isn't. The, the, the guy who was walking. She's called like Mafia or something. Right. 1980s. I was born. Oh my god. I was just <laughs> born. So this is Himuro Mansion. Do you want to know the backstory or should I just skip this? A uh, bit of backstory wouldn't necessarily go miss. Well, I can fill you in in a couple of seconds. But, but um, Fatal Frame is the, uh, as I said, the American name, which is pretty dumb. And it sounds really cheesy compared to Project Zero, which is also dumb, but Zero is the much better name for it. Well, why Zero? The Zero shot in the camera. The ghosts uh, keep running at you. This is like literally the scariest game I played when I was a, a young man. Um, ghosts keep running at you, and then you've got to wait until the scariest point, where you're literally about to require a new pair of underwear. Mm. And then, for instance, in... Yeah, you seen the grudge? Yes. You know when the yes. she's going down the stairs. Oh, she she's going through in the American version. Yeah. With Sarah Michelle Gellar. Okay, yeah. And the woman ghost is going up the bed sheet and she put, takes a her head just goes, Whoa right. right in front of you. That's the moment you have to wait for to take a picture in this. Half okay. the time you'd be fumbling around going, Oh my god literally bricking yourself because there's loads of ghosts. Okay. You, you'll see in a minute. It's it's a very complicated game with a very simple structure. So a, even, a very simple game with a very complicated structure. Yes. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to choose film speeds. Shit like that. There you go. This is a much nicer control system. It's not like Resident Evil. You put the stick in one direction, you go in that direction. Stick down, stick up. Left, right. And there's lots of vibration going on. Okay. <clears throat> and look at the lack of shadows. Lack of shadows? Yes. I'm just very slow walking about. Well, when you oh, say... there's a shadow there. I, I was going to say, I can see a shadow behind them. I can see the shadows on the wall. How do I run? There you go. You run by holding the square. There's a box of film on the floor. Type 14 film. There we go. Blimey, me, that's an old camera. I'm, I'm guessing that's not the camera you're using, though. It is. So there we go. 
That seems like it would be an obscurely old camera to have. There you go. So look at this spooky stuff right here. Blimey. That's the camera, and it's loaded with 60 rounds of, or 60 shots oh, of yeah. type 60 film. And you can even move around. Oh, that's good. Creepy mask. So what's the blue bar on the right hand side? The there? blue bar is your spirit meter. You can see and see what that does. You see the little thing at the bottom of the spirit meter? Yes. Ooh, something spooky. Notice how this this is a prime. <laughs> there is no uh, there is no zoom. <laughs> hey, the shadows aren't bad actually. This was a uh, two thousand and one in Japan, so graphically this was pretty early PlayStation. Still looks pretty good. One blank. It's not bad. So I'm going to save this. Yes, I would like to save the game data. I think I've already got a save on here. Embarrassing. Yes. Um, I'm going to save as number three. Bear in mind that save was probably from about seven years ago. Yes. Okay. Now you can see what photos you've taken and blah blah blah. Exit. Yes. <laughs> If I say exit, I'm going to exit the damn game. All right. Um, that, that seems like it's overly complicated. There you go, there's a camera. I'm going to take a picture of the camera. Why, why are you taking a picture of the camera? Why not? I've uh, got 59 more shots. Why was it going purple? Is that just a... Uh, plot device. Yeah, an indication of something interesting or evil? Oh, well, that's just saving, isn't it? Although there's only the one camera supposed to be. I can't remember. Hang on. See him walking about there? Yeah. He's got a torch. Yes. Where's this camera? It just mysteriously appears. I will not find fault with this game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open this door, Resident Evil style. Sliding door. I, I, I think for the question of where the camera is, Let's use the suspension of disbelief. Because video game. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Blimey. Yes. I took a picture of a ghost. So, what? Ooh. 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 That's uh, quite nice. Physics? Yeah. Oh, oh mirror. <laughs> because mirror. Yes. So, what do the ghosts do? Do they have any kind of negative impact? Yes. Other than scaring you. We should talk about something else we're playing. That's something completely irrelevant. Why? You'll see. Ooh, hang on. That's an opening door. Alright, so I'm going to whip out my camera. Did you see um, when the ghost appeared, the, the little thing down in the bottom right? That glowed orange. Uh, I did not notice that, but I will keep an eye out for it next time. Hang on. The suit of armour is on display. Good job. Yes. I never knew what it was. Um, little shrine. Oh, oh. Nice line there. Hmm. What's on here? Nothing. What's here? Nothing special. Mm. Bloody oh. hell. Okay. Ghost. How? I didn't see the thing turning orange though. Did I miss that? You will do. <laughs> Alright. Um, is that a fish? Uh, God knows. Oh. Dust. It's a fireplace. So, large amount of collected dust then. Oh my god. Oh, hang on. The, yes, I see, see your thing is glowing. I don't know what to take a picture of. Uh, clock face. I state the obvious. There's something somewhere. Because it's glowing blue. Over the top. I don't know where... It, okay, see how it goes brighter and then... So, something... I don't know where it is. Whatever it is, I'm frightened of it. And uh, the controller vibrates when you find it. Oh, hang on. No? I'm just haphazardly taking pictures of everything here. Uh, okay. 
Okay. So, so potentially something inside that room. Maybe. He's got grey hair, that guy. <laughs> right. There. As soon as I reach over there. There. Is there something on top? On. Is, is there something upstairs, perhaps? I think quite possibly. So if I whip out my camera again. Yes. Look upstairs. I see nothing. Is that because you can't actually see upstairs? Maybe I should go upstairs, but I don't want to go upstairs because it's scary. Oh, okay, look, it seems like it. Oh, what the hell's that? What the hell is that? Oh, uh, this, you see oh, that? I see that. What the? No. Oh. oh, yeah, you just see the little distortion there. Yeah, yeah, I see. It's like a kind of ripple. What do you think it is? A ghost. Ooh. What's uh, it? When you look at the picture develop, you'll see what it. Hang on, if. Um, can I find album? Maybe I need to go and find the um, actual thing itself. Oh, okay, I can't go up these steps, he just goes at the bottom one. Yeah. Which is nice rather than saying, oh, okay, go up these <laughs> steps. Oh, he's stuck, I oh, know. <laughs> stuck on the scenery. Right, graphically, uh, Project Zero One, Fatal Frame One Zero One, <laughs> <laughs> graphically is pretty, pretty shoddy. Okay. But when you look at Project Zero 2, which I also own, um, you'll see bloody hell they improved the graphics somewhat. Okay, cool. And in Project Zero 2, you play as a uh, couple of sisters, or you play as one of the sisters. One of them's going a bit batshit, the other one's just trying to chase them. But it's the same story in all the games. <laughs> chase ghosts and take photos. Yeah. This one's all about the rope maiden. Would the rope maiden perhaps be potentially a girl who was home? roped up? Roped up. Oh, okay. Oh, there she is with loads of creepy hands. That's not a not a BDSM thing or anything, is it? It's no, 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 no. Was it back in two thousand and one? If that was in games, then you know there'd be trouble. Yeah. In in the game advertising, I remember the Death Trap Dungeon back in two thousand no nineteen ninety seven. Okay. Based on the uh, the book of the same name. Uh, they oh was it there was an ad for that that got in a bit of trouble because of the BDSM <laughs> thing. <laughs> uh, who would you rather be playing with? I think that was and there was a, a some woman with whips covered in leather, <laughs> leaving not much to the imagination. Yeah, no, these days you've got things like Fifty Shades of Earl Grey. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, you're being slapped oh, over. What the bloody hell is that? <gasps> oh! Oh, that's. interesting. Oh, okay, here we go. Hang on, is this now just giving you an introduction to shooting ghosts? Yes. The only reason I knew how to shoot the other ones was because I've played this before. Uh, okay. Okay, I have to prepare myself for this. Yes. Okay, yeah, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Just just watch and learn, people. <laughs> Pow! So you go... That's one. See a bit of damage to him. It's a bit RPG-ish. Okay. Where is he? Oh, Christ, he's gone. Ah. Wait for him. Yes! That's a zero shot. Oh, okay, so like the zero shot is almost like the kill shot. See, it actually said zero shot there? Yeah. Oh shit, there he is. So you wait until the, the characters go in. And then I pwned that ghost. Headshot. And so if you kill the ghost with a special shot, you get extra cool stuff. Okay. I captured a ghost with this camera. As fromage flavoured as that was, mm. has the power to I did actually jump. In legit for reals. I remember the incident from which I learned of its Can't you just take a picture of the black padlock and get rid of it? <laughs> that is a black padlock. 
Oh, what does it say? Oh, the nice thing about this. Is, oh, do you see the film grain? Yes. How cool is that? See, that's one of the things I was going to say earlier on. A bit like uh, Silent Hill, I think the fact that these graphics aren't what you might call HD and are all like grainy and very black and white. Oh, this. Ah! Oh, what the bloody hell are you? He's downstairs. Oh, no. That's through the wall, through the floor. I can't photograph him. No. He's, I've missed that, guys. That's a shame. Yeah. But I, I think the graphic styling of this actually really works very well. It's like a, a low budget. Well, not a low budget. It's just like a Japanese horror movie. Yeah. Okay. Well, it works very well for the style of game, I think. Well, it's amazing how much difference there is between this and Silent Hill 3, graphically. Hmm. I mean, this has a lot of charm, but it's, it's very plain, but also the characters are very techno. Very porcelain. Yeah, yeah. But I think I've got to follow that ghost. Would you describe the styling of the characters as almost anime-esque? Not really. No? My eyes aren't big enough. <laughs> Not enough tentacles. <laughs> um, oh no, the door's open. I must go through. Not enough pixelation. Oh! Uh, <laughs> 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 by, by any chance, is the word pixelation quite a scary thing? No! I, I was like, oh my god! And then there was the. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw my <laughs> reflection, but that's embarrassing. <laughs> Just for the record, I'm not controlling this. This is a cutscene. Say what? It's been two weeks. Did he just have his photo taken? No, he didn't. So this is 1986 in September still. Yeah. Enter a schoolgirl. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well... In the Japanese version, she actually is wearing a school uniform. Uh, and her eyes are a little bit bigger. So the model has been modified for the Western world. So is she any relation to the first person? Yeah, that's her brother. Oh, okay. And so it's been two weeks and he was investigating this place, so now she's going, oh no, I'm going to look at this place. <laughs> and look, it's in colour. Very muted colour, very nice colour scheme. She's seen stuff she doesn't like. Now I have seen a Japanese house that looks just like this, like literally falling, falling apart. Yeah. And it is actually very creepy. Okay. Okay, right, so we, we are in technical right now. So she's obviously been drawn to that place. Pretty, oh, you just turned the light out. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, so there's the, the spooky camera. And we walk around and say, oh, look, who'd have guessed it was actually brown? And so I don't have a camera at the moment. And I'm getting stuck. Oh, hello. What's the mask again? It is a very angry looking mask. What's that? Is that more film? Oh, oh herbal medicine. Quote. Herbal, unquote. Actually, quote, herbal medicine, medicine is quote. very big in Japan. Hmm. Some seriously crazy stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I was a little bit ill when I was over there, and I don't know what it was, but it cured me right away. Yeah. I'd have to go to the loo quite a bit, though. <laughs> well, you know, it gets, uh, gets bad stuff out. Slot one. Kimiro. Yes. So. Question. The first uh, chapter, if you will, with her brother. Yep. In black and white. 
why was that in black and white and now why is it in colour? Because that was the past, this is the present in 1986. Oh, uh, okay, so it's a bit like when you had like flashbacks on TV and it's all in <gasps> sepia. There's like some spooky ghosty thing. Bricks, bricks, bricks. <laughs> I need a camera. So I don't have a camera, but... Who? There are more ropes now. Oh, what's that? What's that? Okay. okay. Now there's another rope. And another okay. rope. Oh, well, where, where are you keeping your file? <laughs> Back pocket. I love the menu. I forgot how nice that was. So I've taken ten photos already and killed one ghost. Well, you don't really kill a ghost, can you? Would you say help them move on? There we go. Here are the photos. Who's the rope hallway man? The, the oh, there's yeah. the angry man. Yeah. There's the bound man. Oh, look at him. And there's the. Uh... Oh, I think that's the bound man. Yeah. So that's the guy I, I, I murked. Yeah. He's scary, so I'm going to protect him. Scary thinking your camera's, you know, so OP. <laughs> I think I get like a like a, a noob camera coming up now. Oh, Nerf camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Did you see that? Um uh, which Oh there are some creepy ropes. Well wait until you see her hair when it when it moves. Oh my god, that's her running. When it's not a cutscene. <laughs> Hello. It's my brother's camera. What's that doing here? Oh. So... Yeah. That's what happened to her brother. Oh, okay. Something he got touched up by a lot of scary hands. Ghost hands. Spooky hands. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you see, this this game is actively out to make sure you need some new underwear. There you go. There you go. Okay. Mafuyus? Mafuyu. Mafuyu? I think so. Or Mafuyu? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Mafuyu. If there's a Mafuyu out there, please, uh, please tell us how you pronounce it. Well. Maf Mafuyu? Ma Mafu? Ma Mafu? Confuse a me. Oh, she's got a bad feeling. I've got a bad feeling too. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Camera, 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 camera. That's. Pow! Yeah, I took a man on a beam. That's Wait. not something you hear every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I still can't get in this door even though it's two weeks. I should have unmailed it by then. Hang on. Well, how do you? Sorry, important test of any game. Do we have Jiggle? I don't know. <laughs> uh, stand in the corner and look left and right. This is Tecmo. I, I can't tell. No, I, I doesn't look like there's much Jiggle. Potentially wearing a sports bra. Is that is that a ghost? Or is that just... No. It feels like there should be something inside of there. In terms of ghostage. See, that's purple. That's purple. I think it's more purple gloves for them. What's that on the jewel? Hey, I got more drugs. <laughs> so basically, this whole game is about Mafayu getting like. or Mafi, whatever her name is. Getting, um, getting high. Ah! I'm gonna capture your ass, ghost. Oh. Oh, bro shadow. That's creepy. That's not a shadow, that was actually him, because the shadow was in full colour. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Was there Is something? it really eleven forty five? It is. Wow. That that was strange. I I thought I saw a distortion down to the left hand side, but maybe there was just 
Well, if there's a distortion thing, then, you know, the, um... Or is that just the shadow? It, it might have just been graphics. Because, you know, the little, uh, the fuse thing in the bottom right? Yeah. That glows when there's something, but when there's spooky shit happening. Oh, okay. The Ghostbusters-wise, um... The ambient noise is really good on this. It's not quite as good as in um, Silent Hill. But this is kind of more eerie. Yeah. I, I, purple? Oh, that's just the lighting. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. What this? Hey, I got all the drugs. <laughs> I I think okay. if the sound in this was more Silent Hill S, I don't think it would work as well, because you would be more alerted to the monsters rather than having that kind of almost jump scare. Well, there are no monsters up in here. Hmm? No monsters here. But ghosts. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 ghosts like you know bad things. Because you can kind of go into Silent Hill and you know there's going to be bad things there. And you kind of know when you turn a corner, there's a potential of, you know, something being there and kind of almost like a, a, a physical thing, if that makes sense. Mm. But here, all you get is that little fuse. Yeah. Which is it's quite creepy. I don't know where I'm going. Sorry, I'm just, just wandering around. Um, yeah. Can I look in here? Ah, there you ah. go. More drugs? No, put a box of film. Excellent. Alright, so type 14 film. Hang on. Let's get my menu up. Alright. Oh no, hang on. I can't I can't get into camera yet. Item, what have I got? Type 14 film. Oh yeah, that's right. There's like type 75 film, which is the maximum I think, which when you take a picture or something with that, it's just like boom, you're gonna die. Oh, insta kill. Ah, mom left my camera. <laughs> I cannot use this item here. Well, if I press circle, I can't just screw you. <laughs> um, and that's the film loaded, so yeah, you, you, you get a fine selection of film. Cool. I okay. love how you've actually got a score as well. Yeah. And doesn't that stone look very similar? <laughs> um, right, okay, so fireplace. We've been in there. Where's the map? I'm just pressing loads of buttons. There you go. <laughs> so I can't go in there. Can you? Oh, I thought green door meant that you could go in. Oh no, because um, there's the red door right there. So uh, I can't go in there. Can't go in that door. What's that blue thing? Oh, that's the entrance. That's the save point. Alright, you know, I'm going to try and go for that red door. Um, that kind of oh no, I can't because it's the blocked off one. Uh, where am I going? I want some spooky stuff to happen. You don't have to push the clock or anything, do you? Oh. Oh, I, you can't turn around mm. on stairs, just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, uh, there you go, there's a door. There's an old folding screw here. I'm sure I've been through this. Oh no, it's maybe not. Locked. Wow. So there's a key in the cabinet or something. Like that. <gasps> God. Boom, hallway man. Nice. So I can't get down there. No. That's a really cool shot. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you need the key to kind of progress so if I, I think oh no I didn't know there was a man in the hallway I'm going to go and see if he's dropped a key <laughs> so kind of, it's just a case of waiting potentially for ghosts to drop things oh man I missed him oh no I didn't do you, do you need to move Oh, he's under the stairs. No, get down the stairs. Move him, have I? Mufui, what the hell your name is? No, I missed him. Yeah, okay. I shot a couple of rounds off and he's, he's gone. 